the following chemical energetics question deals with uh, the energy profile diagram or the reaction pathway diagram and the question states that an exothermic chemical reaction proceeds by two stages so the first thing is that the overall uh, reaction is it's an exothermic chemical reaction so overall it's an exothermic reaction but it uh, it has two stages uh, so reactants first get converted to an intermediate and those intermediate then get converted to products. So the activation energy of stage 1 is given as 50 kilojoules per mole. So for stage 1 it's uh, 50 kilojoules per mole. And uh, the other information that's provided is that the overall enthalpy chain of the reaction is minus 100 kilojoules. So this minus 100 kilojoules per mole is the overall energy change. Now he's asking which... Uh, which of the following diagrams uh, reacts, uh, uh, represents the reaction pathway for this particular reaction? So the first thing is, since it's a two-step reaction, so A and B can't be correct because they are one-step reaction, reactants getting converted directly to products. C uh, or D might be the correct options because they first, uh, the reactants get converted to intermediates at this point and then those intermediates get converted into products. The same is the case over here, the reactants first get converted to and intermediate over here and then they get converted to products so this both of these are two stage reactions now the enthalpy change the activation energy of stage one is given as 50 kilojoules per mole so if i look at stage one this is the activation energy activation energy is the initial energy needed by the reaction and if you look over here initially you, the reactants had this much energy and then they gained this much energy so this is equal to this energy is equal to 50 kilojoules per mole so that part is correct uh, if you look at uh, D you would notice that the activation energy is the initial amount of energy that is needed is this much so it's it goes from 0 all the way up to 100 so in this part the activation energy for the first stage is almost 100 kilojoules per mole so D can't be correct it has to be option C and just to confirm, just to confirm and recheck, well, I'm going to check the other statement as well. He's saying that the overall enthalpy chain of the reaction is minus 100 kilojoules per mole. So if you look at the overall enthalpy change, the reactants over here and the products over here. So the overall enthalpy change is the overall energy difference. So going from reactants all the way to products, the enthalpy changes, you're starting at zero and you're reaching minus 100. So it is equal to it goes from 0 to minus 100 so it is equal to minus 100 kilojoules per mole so option c is going to be your correct option for this question